Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we're going over principal square roots of non-negative numbers. Non-negative numbers, of course, are just real numbers that are greater than or equal to zero. Those are the numbers that we're talking about today. So let's consider this equation. x squared equals four. What are the solutions to this equation? Well, certainly x equals two is a solution to the equation because two squared is equal to four, but also x equals negative two is a solution to the equation because negative two squared is equal to four. So there are two solutions to this equation. There is a positive solution and a negative solution because every positive real number has a positive and negative square root. But what if, instead of looking at this equation, we just look at the square root of four? Is this equal to two, or is it equal to negative two? Well, this is where we get into the importance of this lesson. This radical symbol here refers only to the principal square root of the radicand, which is the number under the radical. So this notation refers specifically to the principal square root of four. But what's that? Well, quite simply, the principal square root is the non-negative square root. So in this case, that's two. So with all that said, we can rewrite this mess a little neater, knowing now that the principal square root is just equal to positive two. And again, this is true because this notation with the radical symbol refers specifically to the principal square root of four. The principal square root of a non-negative real number is the non-negative square root. And the reason I say non-negative instead of just saying positive is of course because the principal square root of zero is just zero and zero is not positive. So again, the principal square root of a non-negative real number is its non-negative square root. So as another example, we could look at the principal square root of 25. The square roots of 25 are five and negative five. But again, this notation refers specifically to the principal square root, which is just equal to positive five, because five is the non-negative square root of 25. So if we want to write that x is equal to the negative square root of a non-negative real number, we need to use the negative sign. So if we write that x is equal to the negative square root of 25, this means that x is equal to negative five, because this is a negative one multiplied by a positive five, which is of course negative five. If we want to capture the possibility that x is positive or negative, then we can write that x is equal to plus minus the square root of 25. This leaves the door open to x being equal to positive five, which is the principal square root, or x could be equal to negative five, which is the negative square root. But again, the radical symbol alone refers to the principal square root, which is the non-negative square root. And that's really the importance of the principal square root. Because we have a principal square root, we can use this radical symbol to refer to one specific number, which is nice. That just means that it's important that you know exactly what number the symbol refers to, and that is the principal square root. So I hope this video helped you understand what principal square roots of non-negative real numbers are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. You can save yourself Always incomplete unless you're someone else Feeling like a cast aside Cause all the work and for fear